In this video, we will learn how to create a new shape in Keynote that we can then add to our shapes library. For this example, I am starting with a brand new blank slide, but you can do this on any slide that you're currently working on. The first place to go is going to be up here in your tools under shape. When you click on shape, you're going to see this little draw tool on the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and select it. For our example, we are going to be drawing a hexagon. There is not a hexagon available within the shapes. So we just want to hold down our trackpad and click our trackpad to create the points and the lines. So we're just going to do our best to try to align them right now and then we can always go back and fix it. So a hexagon does have six sides. And once I close my shape, then I can go in and click on the little points and kind of adjust them so that they are a little bit more equal. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. It doesn't have to be. But you can, like I said, you can edit the points if necessary. So for now, we're going to go ahead and leave it like that. What we can do is once we have our shape, we can go up to format the paintbrush. And we want to make sure that we have selected our shape. So we want to see the little points around it. And we can go under style and give it a color to start off with. Once we have our shape drawn, if you right click on it or secondary click, which is two fingers on your trackpad, you'll see an option that says save to my shapes. Once you click on this, it'll take you to your shapes and down at the very bottom of the list, you'll see my shapes. And so here's my shape that I've just created and I can name it. So make sure that you do give it a name while it has this little blue box available for editing. And once you click out, this shape is now available for you to use in any future projects. And I can still have the option of changing the, co the colors or giving it a border. All of those are still there. If I needed to make any changes to it, let's say, obviously, you know, it's not perfect. All the sides are not exactly equal. If I do the secondary click again, I can use make editable as an option. And then my points are editable again. So if I needed to make any little slight changes to it, I can. So if I wanted to make this a little bit longer, wider, I could do that. Okay, but that does not change my shape here. This is the one that I've created. So hopefully that helps you and gives you an idea of how you can create a shape that becomes part of your library. You can do this drawing any shape, any object and adding it to your library to use for your future projects.